Now, yesterday we stopped where you are supposed to do some activities at home. And here with me, I want us to revise the activities that you're supposed to do. Uh, uh, concerning the diagram that we looked yesterday, it was about how to investigate the percentage of air that is used for burning or for combustion. Uh, we realized that when you put a candle and then you cover it with a glass, at, after some time, the glass will go off. And then we look at the observations and we agree that we have some observation that one is going to make. And this, one of them was the candle to go off after some time, then water to rise in the glass by one over five. And of course, I believe that you're understanding one over five. That is the percentage of air, I mean, the percentage of oxygen in air. Then we also realize that water will drop in the trap or in the basin by one over five. So here were the questions that you have to look at. You are supposed to find out the reasons why the candle went off, why the, rose, uh, the water rose in the glass, why water dropped in the basin. Now here are the answers that uh, we came out with. Number one, the candle goes off, okay? The candle goes off after some time. This should be off, okay? Just, this should be off. The candle goes off after some time due to limited supply, supply of oxygen because uh, we realize that when you put a candle in the in that glass here, the candle will will consume up the oxygen as the burning process is going on. After all oxygen have been consumed, then there will be limited supply of oxygen or there will be no oxygen at all, and that's why the candle will cause off because when there is no oxygen in that glass, there will be no any gas to support burning. So the candle is going off because there is now limited supply of oxygen. Number two, we said that why, why water rose in the glass? We said that water is rising or water rose into the glass by one over five to replace the oxygen that has been used up. In this glass, if you look at this glass, we see that the glass there is not empty. The glass is full of air, and that air is making 100%. Now, if one over five of that 100% has been used up, meaning there will be some space left. Therefore, water uh, will rise up and then occupy. So water will rise and occupy that space that has been left by one over five uh, of air, that is oxygen. And then number three was uh, why water dropped in the basin. Water is dropping in the basin uh, to occupy the space left in the glass, okay? Remember, in this basin, water was in the basin, not in the glass. So when water left glass to occupy, I mean left basin or trap to occupy the glass, then it means that water in the basin is going to reduce. So it is now the reduction of water in the basin that will make uh, the water level in the trap reduce. So uh, you are just say that water dropped in the basin to occupy the space left in the glass. So these are the three answers and these are the the three explanation of the observation that were made during that experiment. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, we also talk, talked about that uh, oxygen is used for breathing. And here, there's an experiment that we're supposed to do to investigate if oxygen is used for breathing. What do we need for this experiment? We need glass jar or just a glass and sit there. We need a basin or trap. We need an insect and we need water to be in that basin. Then we need a netted bag. A netted bag is just a net. After that, you're supposed to arrange the apparatus as shown here. Okay, this is how your apparatus should, or your, the arrangement should look like. Uh, you take a basin and then with water. Then inside the glass, there should be a live insect. You are putting that uh, alive insect in the, in, the, in the net, you wrap it in the net, and then you put it in the glass to ensure that it does not, it does not, um, 
uh, come into contact with, uh, with the basin or with water, the weight has been put there. And then you leave it there for some time. And then you can come later and then you look at the observation. What will you realize after this? Now, now you can see that's how our experiment should look like. Sour. Mm -hmm. Now, what are we going to observe? This is the observation here. After some 30 minutes, insect died. Why? The insect is dying because it has exhausted, it has used all the oxygen that was present in that glass during breathing. When the insect was breathing, remember, all animals are breathing, okay? They are using oxygen for breathing. So the, as they breathe, they are consuming the oxygen that is there in the glass. And once the oxygen has been exhausted, has been used up, and now there will be limited supply of oxygen, and that will lead to the suffocation of the animal or of the insect, and eventually the insect will die. So the insect died after some times, after exhausting oxygen during breathing. Number two, water entered the glass to occupy the space left by oxygen after it was used up by insect during breathing. So when this insect was breathing in, uh, the insect was consuming the oxygen. Now, after that oxygen has been exhausted, all of it, then there will be some space that will be left in that glass. That space left will be occupied by water in the basin. Because you all know that matter occupies space, okay? So the space left by, by, by oxygen will now be occupied uh, by water that will come from the basin. And when that happens, you will also eventually realize there will be a water drop, okay? A water drop in the trap or in the basin because some water entered in the glass. And you may be asked, what percentage? The same percentage. 21% or one over five of 100%. That is approximately 20%. So that's the second diagram. Now, when we meet in our next lesson, we are going to investigate how oxygen is used for rusting. Okay. So we are stopping there. And please, you can try that experiment at home and ensure that you make your observations.